Hello. This is the second video on how to make Telegram bots with Python and AIO Gram package. Now I will show you how to make two types of Telegram keyboards. In the first part I told how to create a bot, get a token, and about the main features of creating Telegram bots. Okay, let's get started. Let's talk about keyboards. There are two types of keyboards in Telegram, Reply Keyboard, and Inline Keyboard. When you click on buttons of the Reply Keyboard, it simulates sending text messages from you. The inline keyboard is a more advanced thing. You can run any function, or make any action by clicking on this keyboard. I will show you how to make both keyboards. Ok, let's make the reply keyboard. I remove all unnecessary lines from the first lesson. Import the required modules from AIO gram types, reply keyboard markup, reply keyboard remove, and keyboard button. Then I add variables for buttons, that equals, keyboard button, and in brackets enter a text that will be sent when this button is pressed. I make two buttons, hello, and YouTube. Further I will indicate that the bot should reply when you click on these buttons. Then make a keyboard that contains these buttons. Create a new variable for the keyboard, that equals reply keyboard markup. I use here the resize keyboard parameter, if I didn't do this, the buttons will be very large and inconvenient. The one-time keyboard parameter will hide this keyboard when you click on any button. Add button 1 and button 2 to this keyboard. I use the add method for both buttons. Ok, I want to initiate this keyboard with the start command. To do this go to the welcome function, and add here, reply markup, equals, and enter your keyboard variable. Next, let's create a new handler for what actions the bot should perform, when these buttons are clicked. Just create the message handler from the first lesson. I name this function as, KB answer. Since, as I said earlier, these buttons send text messages to the bot, I just indicate what the bot should answer to these messages. If I click on the first button, the bot will answer, Hi, how are you? If I click on the second, I will get the link to my YouTube channel. I add one more condition for other messages, it will just return your message. Ok, let's run this bot. When I send the start command, I get this keyboard. Then if I click on any button I will get the correspond information. Ok, I have also to say about the formatting of buttons. There are three methods, add, this method can contain a lot of buttons, but it places three buttons in a line. If you want to place one button in one line, use the add method for each button. The row method, using this method you can place many buttons in one line. And the insert method, can contain only one button. If the current line has less than three buttons, the method will add this button to this line. And if there are three or more buttons, it will place the button on a new line. You can combine these methods as you like. The reply keyboard can send only text messages, but there is one exception. Using this keyboard you can request contact and location of the current user. I will create another reply keyboard. There are two buttons for your phone number and location. Just add one more parameter to the buttons, request contact, and request location. These parameters must be equal to true. Ok, create another variable for a new keyboard. And I place these buttons in one line. And then I make a new command to initiate this keyboard. As I showed earlier, I add this keyboard in the reply of the info command. Ok, let's start the bot. With the info command I got this keyboard. If I click on the first button it requests my phone number. If I click on the second button it requests my location, you can share the location only if you use the mobile telegram app. As you can see it works fine. And one more thing that I have to say about the reply keyboard. Since these buttons are text messages and have a text type, you can enter only text in the add or row methods, when you add buttons, as it's shown on the video right now. And this method gives the same result. You can use this keyboard as well. But it doesn't work if you want to ask a phone number or location from user. Ok, let's talk about another type of keyboard for Telegram bots. This is the inline keyboard. This keyboard will be built into the answer of the bot. You can use this keyboards for more advanced things. For example, using the inline keyboard you can initiate any function. You can perform any actions on pressing the buttons of such keyboards. 
since AIOGram is the asynchronous library, to handle events you need to use callbacks. And now I will show you how it works. Ok, I remove unnecessary lines of the code. Then you need to import the needed modules from AIOGram, dot, types, inline keyboard markup, and inline keyboard button. Create a new variable for a new inline button. That equals, inline keyboard button, and in brackets fill two parameters, text, that is what will be written on the button. And callback data. Enter here any text you want, further we will describe some actions for this callback. In simple words, callback is a reference to some function, or some part of the code, that will be executed when this button is pressed. As you can guess, I want to make a function that will return a random number for two ranges. That will be two buttons. Then create a variable for the inline keyboard. And add these two buttons in one line. Then I create a new command to initiate this keyboard, it will be a random command. To show this keyboard you have to use the same method. Add here the reply markup parameter, that equals the inline keyboard object. Ok, the keyboard will be shown by the random command. And now let's make a handler for clicking these buttons. Enter, dispatcher, dot, callback, query, handler. In brackets the text parameter equals to callback data of the created buttons. That means, the next function will be executed if this script received queries with this callback data, that is pressing the buttons. Ok, I create this function, random value. In brackets enter one parameter of a callback query type. I have two callbacks, so I have to make two conditions for callback data. Depending on the button pressed, the script will return a random number for two ranges, up to 10, and up to 100. So, make a condition, if date of callback, equals, random value of 10, then the bot answers to you with a random value from 1 to 10. And then duplicate this condition for another range, from 1 to 100. And don't forget to import the random package to the code. And it's also recommended to add this line at the end of the callback function. I think this part of the code is clear to you, this is pretty simple here. Ok, let's start the script. I enter the random command, and then I get this inline keyboard. And if I click on these buttons it works perfectly, I get a random numbers. You can actually describe any actions for pressing these inline buttons. I have to say, the inline keyboard has the same formatting as for the reply keyboards. In this video I showed you how to make keyboards for your telegram bots. You can use these keyboards to make your bots better. All of these codes you can find on my github page. Hope this video was useful for you. Thank you for watching.